Give us a second, I'll be right with you. Hey guys, welcome back to Lego DC Super Villains Custom Builds, and today we're moving right along with the last GTA character on my list, and that of course is Big Smoke. So before I go on to Big Smoke, I want to say something about uh, my last video, which was about uh, Lance Wilson. Uh, so yeah, about Lance Wilson, I've got this new head for him right here. I just found it right right, right after the video, and uh, so I'm going to show you where you can find this head if you want to switch your old head out for your uh, Lance Wilson. Now, to be fair, if you prefer Lance Wilson with his uh, with a with a big chin hair thing for his neck, yeah, you know, not his neck. Uh, sorry, uh, you know, if you prefer Lance Wilson with a lot lot of chin hair, stick with the head that I used for the, that video. But if you want chin hair and a mustache, this is the head you want to use. You just go to uh, the uh, customizer, of course, and you go to appearance. Go to your head, and the head I used was number 21, right there. And uh, you want to just apply your colors for your uh, Lance Wilson. You know, the black and the brown, and then you got it on. And then, of course, you picked your dark sunglasses, and uh, there you go. So, uh, yeah, that being said, though, we can move along to the next character on our list. And that, of course, being uh, none other than uh, Big Smoke. Um, but where will he go? Is a question. I want to get rid of... Sadly, I have to do this, but I'm afraid Heath Ledger's the last Joker to get rid of. So here we go. Goodbye, Heath Ledger. It was nice knowing you. Getting rid of that. And of course, the circle button. Uh-huh, and the X button, the skill set, mm-hmm, perfecto, and of course we can move along now to hit the randomizer. Right, there we go, there's our template. So, starting off with Big Smoke. Now Big Smoke He's like one of his iconic traits is that he has a uh, bowler hat on, so going to hats. Scroll down to find the Riddler's hat, which is a bowler hat, of course. And you're going to pop that on his head, and of course what you're going to do is basically paint it all black. So there's one, and then there's two. There you go. Moving on now, we're going to go to uh, his own actual head. And I'll be going to custom heads. We're going to look for... A, it might be in, uh, yeah, we might need to go into preset heads and use Kanto's head, which I used last time. It's the same head we used for CJ Johnson. So look for Kanto's head. There it is. And just essentially paint that dark brown any shade you want. I'm just going with the second darkest brown. And now we can move on to the actual step. We've got arms, of course. And yeah, they are... This is a short sleeve character, so... Going to short sleeves. Uh, you want the darkest green for the top. And the darkest brown for the lower arms. And when you're done there, go to hands, of course, make them dark brown as well. You go to attachments, might as well get rid of that tail piece. And uh, go on to the hips. And of course look for Captain Boomerang. And he has dark grey trousers. There we go. And we'll go to the Music Meister as well. And of course the same thing applies to him dark grey for the uh, trousers. Now that that's done we can go on to the body and of course he's just wearing a basic shirt so going to shirts and essentially repaint that dark brown for the neck and of course dark green for the actual shirt and that's the darkest brown and the darkest green and uh, there you go. Last thing to do is to go to the head again and we're gonna add the glasses. 
So go to custom heads and uh, go back out. Actually, I'm trying to find. Oh yeah, it's because we used the preset head. So we have to go to custom heads for this then. And we want to look for a head with like just around a head like this essentially. <laughs> Uh, I guess we can make the facial lines black. No, oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. Bit lighter. That's what I wanted. And uh, go to the wrinkle decal and turn the wrinkle decal to black as well. Uh, moving on, we're going to just look at these real quick again. See if there's any other options. Hmm. This is the closest one, so you want to go with head 09, custom head 09, and then you want to go to glasses. The glasses you want to use, I believe, are Clark Kent's. Uh, maybe it's something else though, let's take a look. Ah, here it is. The Adam, I believe. Um, no, the Adams are brown, so it wouldn't work. Uh, boy. So I guess it actually is uh, Clark Kent. Uh, yeah, paint those uh, black, and there you go. You've got your at. You've got a uh, big smoke, essentially. And of course, if you want, you can give him a gun. So go to blasters, gun or guns, shall I say? Scroll down to the machine gun, and of course, make sure it's a gray gun. When you're done there, you can go to your skill set. So go to abilities. And of course, hold square will be our lunge attack. There you go. Him running at the enemy. And then you got the... Uh, what's next? Let's add the explosive attack. Which is something I need to work on there. It's white's fine. Oh, maybe we could just go on with the black. And of course, we're going to change the effect so he's like slamming the ground. There we go. That is number four. And you want to go back out and real quick. Let's just go to appearance real quick. And uh, scroll down to effects. And make sure that that's off. And the... Uh, yeah... The jump slam effect. That's weird. He's like going right through it. But yeah, um, all that aside though, just paint it black essentially. And from there, going back to abilities, I did, yeah, I did the square button, the circle button, I did that. Hold circle will be your destroy mode, put it on, try number two. Yeah, that's about right. And finally, going on back to the X button now, double jump it. And of course, that's double jump number one. Going on to the actual skill set now, scroll to the top. Uh, technology access, no acrobat. Scroll down to graffiti, dark green, and of course, no tracking. Goon command, I see him having goons if he's called Big Smoke. I imagine he's like a crime lord or something. Uh, put some st uh, illumination, a bit, uh, no stealth for this character. So yeah, he's not really that variety, but you know, he's got a few abilities to him. And uh, basically we are nearly done. Uh, voice, free, target module, Mercy Graves, health icon, we will go with the green. There it is. Health type standard, animation, cool. And back out now to basic information. 
unknown, and of course neutral character, and of course name, which is Big Smoke. B uh, I G S M O K E, and now we can save. And there is the character Big Smoke. Now, to be fair, I could have used the button shirts, but I didn't have that option, so... It's still closer to what you get, you know? But yeah, this is the last GTA character I got on my list. And uh, we can move on now to Thunderhead next time. But before we do that, let's show off the abilities. There's the gun, the targeted lunge. The slam attack, the super slam attack, the charging, all the basic goon abilities. And that has been my little attempt at Big Smoke from GTA and my little update on uh, Ryder from my last video. Like I said, there's, use the, the, the head I suggested if you want to go for the other option. But if you don't, you can always stick to my first option. But yeah, this has been my video on Big Smoke. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Join us next time when we make Thunderhead from The Incredibles. Till next time, guys. Peace.